Hi, all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle Card reading. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing. Please be sure when you do subscribe to click that option ALL and make that bell ring. And when you do, you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings or should I go live to give out free messages to those that want to join me in the chat room. Please know that all these readings here out here on YouTube are a collective general reading. And that means that not every single card will resonate with every single one of you. But take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information you need is in that description box below this video. So my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, let's get on with your reading. Welcome my beautiful Aries. This is your reading for this week. Starting off in your crowning energy, you have the temperance card and this is all about things not moving quickly at this time around you. The energy is quite slow. You might be busy but you might be waiting to see instant results for something that you're, you've are you been expecting to happen and it's not happening right now. But while you're in this temperance mode, realize that you need to be careful to do things in moderation. Don't don't go rushing into things. Don't be reacting and regretting. Don't be taking uh, going for rich quick schemes. Keep your eyes open. It's about cooperating. It's about contemplation. It's about reflection. It's about taking your time. And often it has to do with compromise. Realizing that you can't have everything. Everything can't be one way this week. Okay. So know that the all over energy this week again is sort of a pause situation. It's slowly moving. You're there thinking thinking about where it is you want to go. You're leaning into your divine power. You're leaning into your higher self. And while you're there, you're thinking about once this is over, I'm going for it. Beautiful, beautiful. Coming in with that, you've got the nine of cups. So don't give up. Things might be moving slowly this week for you, but this is your wishes fulfilled card. This says that all you have to do while you're here waiting for things to move forward is start planning. Start being positive. Start making a wish of where it is you want to go. Your higher self, a better future. Okay, a happier outcome. This is the card that says it's going to happen. Wishes will be fulfilled. Oh, I'm liking this. Coming in with your first card in, coming in the energy, coming in behind you, you've been given the Four of Cups. Again, you know, you're sitting there, you're thinking, you know, when is this going to end? You know, you're, you're, you're feeling kind of down about a situation. You're not, you know, feeling up and elated. You're not seeing the opportunities right there under your nose. All you can do is sit there and think, is this ever going to end? Because the Temperance card came up. Yes, it will end. Keep your eyes open. Stay motivated here. Look towards your future. That's what you need to be doing here because the Nine of Cups says it will happen and it's going to end soon. The Death card lands right on this Four of Cups and says stop worrying so much. This is going to end and you're going to see a brand new beginning. I love this card. It's all about, uh, you know, when something happens and, you, and something's concluded, it's the end of a situation, a phase in your life or it could be anything, a relationship, a job, something that you've been dealing with. It's finally going to have closure and come to an end. I just heard the door go bang. It slammed shut. You turn around and all you see is light going through the next door. Keep your eyes open for it. Embrace the new beginning. You're going to be able to get it. Look at the white rose, the gift of the divine saying, yes, your cups are going to fill again and you will be able to see fruition come in. As long as you continue to keep yourself balanced, okay? This is the card of balance. This is the card of aligning yourself on the path to, uh, you know, 
prioritize all the activity that you're going to be busy doing or maybe you are right now uh, I do see that there's a distraction going on with some of you you've been keeping yourself very busy even though a situation isn't moving fast enough you will have choices and decisions to make here this is about staying aligned don't bite off more than you can chew I want you to keep yourself balanced maybe you need to balance your personal life with your business with your work with your career or you know your home life with your career uh, you know or your socializing life your, you know your entertaining life with your career whatever it is start to sit down and prioritize what is really important in your life okay and don't overdo it but I always read this intuitively we can read the card representation which is what I've been doing but I always uh, read it intuitively as well and that means you are in the process of having to make a decision and it's between two other people or two different offers or two situations one here weighs you down the other one brings you lightness and happiness and joy Ten of Pentacles. Happy, happy, happy. So when things start moving, you've been given right next to the Nine of Cups, you've been given the Ten of Pentacles. Being able to walk into your new future and find happiness. You're going to have balance. You're going to have financial uh, financial ability here to uh, to maintain, uh, you know, a good structure, a good foundation in your home life and in your relationships. This is a beautiful card that says you're going to see everything work out for you in your relationships in your family life in your financial life maybe it's all of these things for one of you or for some of you but know that things are going to improve once this you're going in that new direction once this thing ends you've got the two of wands this is a card that says don't give up keep your thoughts moving forward in a positive direction keep looking out for that 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 silver lining keep looking out for the gift that you're going to get you may have to travel for it you may have to go towards it you may have a lot of work on your plate to get there but know that you're going to be able to do it now some of you may actually be dealing with a situation that's going to require you to travel maybe you're moving maybe you're moving well you're obviously leaving leaving something here but maybe you're actually moving from one home to another you're leaving your residence maybe you're leaving your job maybe your jobs involving you traveling okay maybe you do it uh, you know cyberly everybody is traveling all over the world with their job right now but I do think that you're going to want to do an escape and get out there and live once this is over you're gonna want to go on a trip you're gonna want to leave a situation to go to a better one You've got, on top of that, you've got the, the Knight of Wands, and that's all about moving forward towards your goals. You know, you get the, you get the, the, the Two of Wands dreaming about your, where it is you want to go, and, you know, realizing that you do want to leave a situation and move to a new one. And, and be happier traveling to a better direction on the globe and in your life but now the knight shows up and he is telling you that you do have this this uh, ability to make this happen and you're going to be taking control you're going to be moving forward towards your goals you will be able to do this this is amazing you've got the three of wands you've had the you know you've had the two you've had the night now you've got the three looking it's getting closer right once this situation ends here you're going to be able to see your ship coming in stay maintained stay focused work towards these goals know that you're going to be able to get there you're going to feel free you're going to be able to just go out there and see your ship coming in that tower moment suddenly something happens that's going to lead you in this direction you're all of a sudden going to be freed you're all of a sudden going to see your happiness coming in you're all of a sudden going to see your ship you know coming across the horizon getting closer to you building a new foundation okay tower moment always means something suddenly happened in your life that you had to take responsibility and change and make better all right it could have been something that blindsided you that you didn't expect it could have been something that you enabled because you didn't want to see anything happen but whatever reason it happened it happened to some of you and now you've realized that you have goals you're working towards restructuring you're working towards building a new foundation whether it's in your job your career sector of your life or whether it's in your relationship sector of your life you are moving on you're setting the, the 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 foundation stones here so that this tower moment won't come crashing down on you ever again 
you've got the world you had the world before you had the world um, I'm quite sure you know you had the wheel of fortune this is the world okay sorry uh, you know again this is about travel this is about moving on this is about getting ready okay you're ready to move on you're going in a new direction you're going to be able to see that the world is your oyster and you can move out there and be free to go wherever the heck it is you want to go Aries so step up realize that things are going to happen once this situation is over here you're moving on in a brand new direction you've had a hard fight you've had a hard struggle but now you're going to be able to move forward okay don't give up there still will be obstacles in front of you there still will be challenges in front of you and that's life right we all have to deal with things wouldn't it be great if we lived in the perfect world where everything just happened and landed in our feet and we were happy ever after you're going to have this ability to make that wish come true here these are wonderful cards the world the ten of pentacles the nine of cups which is fulfilled moving forward the end of that situation that's going to bring you into a more powerful happier world that you're going to be living in so keep pushing forward stay determined don't give up on your goal what is your goal Aries make that your priority to work towards it you're going to have lots of choices and decisions coming in towards you okay and they're going to be emotional for you you're going to say well you know if I do this this is going to happen if I do that I'm those are the consequences yes but make sure you know exactly what it is you want and then make that choice you won't go wrong just make sure you know what you want Queen of Swords okay standing in your truth standing in your in your integrity cutting through any any nonsense any red tape she's strong she's powerful she doesn't take any guff she goes right in for what she wants and she stays focused and she gets it she stands in her power and that's what you need to do when you're ready to make this decision stand your ground stand your ground and say no I'm moving in a new direction here this door closed a new one's opened up I want to see happiness again I want to see success again I've worked hard I've been in this slow-mo long enough stand up for yourself and you'll make the right choice and decision King of Pentacles Midas touch getting better and better Aries amazing card this is all about dealing with the financial part of your life right now the King of Pentacles he he, he puts his hands to anything and he makes it turn into gold but the, the the main message is here he doesn't do it alone he has help he either goes and he, and he asks for a loan or he asks for assistance or he's dealing he deals with people that are leaders of the financial institution you might be doing the same thing are you wanting to go get a loan to open a business are you wanting to you know to see uh, you know the, the the profit and loss and the profits rising in whatever you're doing but he does he has this ability to step up and be the leader of his finances finances are you are you creating a nest egg are you are you squirreling away something that you have worked hard for and you deserve okay you're going to see things work out in your favor the financial part of your life you're working towards that now it's telling me and you're going to be able to see success there beautiful the hermit the hermit is all about going within pulling away retracting okay some of you might be pulling away from a relationship you need a time out some of you might be pulling away from uh, chaos and 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 uh, energy negative or toxic energy around you you're on a mission you're constantly thinking about what it is you want to do and where you want to go but you're going to do it yourself by isolating yourself and, and keeping yourself in this hermit mode but you also have the ability to see the light at the end of the tunnel you've got assistance you've got the lamp you've got the rod heat you're able to move forward with assistance here you're going to be okay the financial part of your life is going to be great okay you're going to be fine I'm not saying you're going to win a jackpot or you're going to win a, land, a you know a windfall or you're going to you know become a millionaire that's not what this this card says this card says you're dealing with finances and it's going to be all right don't worry so much about it but while you're here in the hermit mode you're thinking you're planning and you're wanting to also realize well I think you need to realize that you also have the ability to light the path for other people as a mentor beautiful 
you've got the empress the empress is all about taking control stepping up being your own boss wanting to see your life beautiful again and she has that ability the empress has the ability to give birth to her dreams love this as you know look where she has the world on her there the world is hers she's able now to look forward to wanting to give birth to her dreams and she's she can make it happen she steps up and she takes control she wants happiness she wants financial fulfillment she wants comfort she wants stability she wants a strong foundation and she knows how to do it okay so but this could also involve bringing a child dealing with children having a new one come into your life or somebody might be giving birth to a child but I look at it as giving birth to your dreams you now have on top of that overlaid on top of that is the ten of wands pushing very hard you haven't given up you, You've worked towards your goals and your dreams and you're not giving up. Just remember, you can't push dead weight uphill, okay? So never try to push somebody uphill that doesn't want to go with you. Uh, realize that you have the ability now to ask for help. You stay determined. Don't wear yourself out. Don't give up. Keep focused. Keep your head down and move towards your goals. And you're going to get there because you are that's what you're doing here. I mean, we talk about this here with, you know, the with the, with the King of with the King of Pentacles here. You've taken time to realize and work hard and the choices and decisions to move in a new direction here. So you're doing it. You're going to be moving in this new direction. It's fantastic. So, you know, all of these cards, you know, you've got it's taking time. Okay, it's taking time, but you will be taking a new direction. You will be moving on and you're working towards these goals now. Once this door opens, for you to go through it and and this situation is over you're gone wow what do you need to surrender to you need to surrender to the idea that you can fix somebody okay it's time for a relationship to shift it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or her own healing so you might be dealing with somebody in your family or around you or a relationship someone you care for maybe it's a friend realize that again you can't push dead weight uphill here okay never try to push somebody uphill if they don't want to go with you and you can't fix somebody we uh, you know uh, they they've made their their own journey they've made their own path they've made their own bed and they have to live in it they have to do and step up and make their own life responsible okay they have to be responsible for their life right now you can't fix them change them or make them do something they don't want to do so don't even try okay some of you might have been dealing with challenges like that and it'll be futile unless they want to change they are not going to change so by the tide until you can make this move in a new direction you've been given the oyster and the oyster look at the picture here she's standing there uh, in, a, in a very dry desert okay so dig deep for inspiration and truth now is the time to become resilient and adaptable okay is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing have your ideas dried up does it feel like you're on an endless journey through a dry hot lifeless desert this card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort you reach the oasis you're searching for. So this whole reading has been about this. Working towards your goals, but you're kind of stuck in this oasis, okay? And you don't see things happening quickly. Of course not. You've got the temperance card here this week, but it's going to end. The death card closes that door and you're going forward into a brand new world that's going to bring you choices and decisions. You're going to stand up for yourself this week in order to see your fruition come in here. Wow. You've been given gratitude. After all your hard work and effort, you're going to be able to feel gratitude, giving birth to your dreams. Look at, she's there, hanging on to, you know, the mother there. The gratitude for the love and assistance that you're receiving, right? This is beautiful. So this is from, I love this deck, the Chakra deck. This is all about, you know, how gratitude raises our vibration to a higher level. If you are unhappy in any relationship, okay? This tells us that we're always in power of change. We can change anything we want in our life, right? This is about friendship, deep love. It also refers to pregnancy, as I showed you there. Nurturing, unconditional love towards self and others. And also pregnancy, giving birth to your dreams, right? So I want you to now look back at it with appreciation and recognition and self-esteem at this time. 
All right. Think about doing those 10 day meditations. Okay. And make out a gratitude list. It's on my site here. I made a very simple one that you can do every day. Okay. Do it. Some people do it for 10 days. Some people do it for 21 days, but sit there and listen to the gratification. Okay. When you say thank you for all that you have now and thank you for what you're manifesting to come into you, that's where gratitude serves you the best. Your final outcome card from the tea leaf messages, archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up to you. I said that to you, didn't I? With the death card, moving forward in a brand new direction here. You're working towards, just make a wish. You're working towards your goals to come in here. The world is yours and you're going to be able to give gratitude for what you have. Yes, you're waiting right now, but the opportunities are starting to show. You're going to be able to see the archway. You're going to be able to see the new door opening to go through it soon. Oh, this is great. Well, my beautiful Aries, this is your this is your reading for today and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And never forget how far you've come, everything you've gotten through, all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was. And all the times you wanted to give up, but you didn't. You got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all of these challenges that are leading you to here today. Remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So, my beautiful Aries, surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Again, my prayers and blessings are that you stay in good health, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. Please play safe, be safe, and stay safe, and I'll see you soon.